Well, today's May 6th. Been a dry spell here. Most everything is uh, starting to grow. Transferred some rootstocks. That's why that one's all wilted. But for the most part, everything's showing signs of growth. Everything except for the Hollywood plum. Um, this is my new row of trees here. In the middle, you can see the rootstocks with some of the white labels they've been grafted over. In between these bee boxes, there's uh, I planted some apple seeds just for the heck of it, trying trying something new, just seeing how they grow. And then uh, here, I got between these two bee boxes, I got some more apple seeds planted. Uh, peach trees have been pruned back. This is their second year. Uh, not much growth. They were chewed on by deer last year, so kind of set, set them back a little bit. Let me walk back over here. There's an apple tree here. I did a graft oh, around the 19th, I think. Yeah. This one's done on the 19th. It's starting to take just electrical tape and some uh, roofing tar. Same thing. This one, I think this one's uh, yellow transparent. That one's starting to take. There's my Saturn peach. That's got some flowers on it. it may have some peaches too. We'll see. Over here is a Macintosh apple tree. The center I want to take out, but uh, I had all these grafts I didn't want to waste, so I decided to leave the center in this year and let that be my graft holdover section. For the most part, everything looks like it's been taken. There's probably about you know, one, two, three, four, five, six different varieties on this top section here. And all those grafts have taken except for one. And this is a winter banana apple. I pruned him back pretty good. There's uh, cherry trees. All these trees. Almost all the trees were planted last year. These ones were all planted last year. And there's a two-in-one pair from uh, Stark Brothers. That's doing all right. Here's a kefir pear. It's got some flowers on it. This is a two-in-one plum from uh, Stark Brothers as well. It has flowers on it. Uh, the bottom variety I think is Shiro. It's kind of been overtaken by the top variety. I gotta. I'm gonna let it see how it sets the fruit and then. Uh, sets plums and then I'll probably whack off the top end try to get the uh, bottom grow a little bit here's a methylene plum that's got lots of flowers on it actually it's it's almost done flowering it's got a another variety right there in the middle there that's been grafted on that that variety's got I grafted that last year that's got flowers it's actually got little plums forming there's a Burbank plum, which is Elephant Heart Burbank plum. Here's another plum. This has got, tying it down, I changing the structure a little bit. This has also got you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different uh, graphs on it. And most of them are doing well. This is, uh, Bonita. You see the, uh, see if I can get this to refocus. Maybe not. Graft is starting to take. On that one. And superior, that one might be taking. It's got a little, that bud right there is showing a little signs of life. 
Here's uh, another one. If I can get it in the camera. That one's taken. That's even got flowers on it. See, this one's taken. There's a Pembina plum. That one seems to be growing pretty well. A couple of the flowers still on it. Here's that Hollywood plum. Let's see if I get refocus. There you go. This plum is uh, showing no activity. I called up Rain Tree. You can see I did a, uh, you know, just looked and that did a couple spots here where uh, broke it to see how it was doing and the bark's all dead. So I had my suspicions when uh, they shipped it to me because it. It just didn't look like it had any activity when I opened up the box, but I figured I'd give it a go. The roots were dry in, in this shipment, so call them up. They're real pleasant. They, they sent It's about three weeks after I've planted it. Called them up. They're going to send me a new replacement, so they luckily had a couple left, so I won't miss this growing season, so I'll replace that, that one, and then here... This poor tree, this is a sour cherry. As you see, it's got some issues. <laughs> it's had uh, a couple big uh, black cherries, black cherry trees that fell over the fence, whack it, and uh, a couple bucks rub it that went before I had the fence up. And uh, it's actually managed to survive. I just kind of figured I'd let it grow. No. It's not hurting anything, and it's finally it's getting some flowers on it. Not a ton, but it does have some flowers. So maybe we'll get some cherries off of this this year. Last year we had a we had flowers as well, but we had a hard frost late in in uh, May, and it pretty much killed everything's flowers. So so that's the uh, May May sixth update. This cherry tree is doing really well. Really dark green. It's probably the uh, one that's leafed out out of all of them. You see I tied down some of the branches on them. Some of the cherries. Cherries like to grow straight up so I let them grow and then I tie down the branches. It's a non-traditional method. I like to keep things open center. I like to keep things open center so uh, and try to keep them smaller if I can. So here's a, another cherry that was from uh, Willis Orchards. There's a pear from Rain Tree. There's a uh, Ozark plum from uh, Stark Brothers. And all these here are rootstocks. Now these ones on the end here that you see right now are. Uh, Apple, I think they're uh, uh, M lot 26 rootstocks, and uh, I was uh, when I got them, the roots looked really pitiful to say the least. But uh, I'm pleasantly surprised that they are actually showing some signs of growth. I didn't graft these because I was afraid it would be just a waste of time, but. I didn't graft all of them. I did wind up grafting some. Here's a yellow transparent. Um, as you see that that actually is growing. Here's a North Pole. That one's growing. Here's a Pink Delight. That one's growing. So I've had uh, decent success. These ones over here are plums. Uh, some of the varieties I grafted earlier, they're all on Crimps 1 rootstock. And I think these ones over here, so the blue label over to the, the little white label over there, masking tape, those are all plums. And I grafted one, one peach onto a plum rootstock just to try it. This yellow label and these ones over here are cherry rootstocks. They're uh, Crimps 5. 
So, see how they do. There's the, uh, the golden nectar plum from Willis Orchards. Uh, I figured I threw the, bo the bee box around it just to keep woodchucks off it because uh, woodchucks do wind up coming into the garden on occasion. It's hard to keep them out, but. So, just trying to keep it from killing the tree. Here's another. Another uh, peach tree. I think this is a blushing star peach from uh, Stark Brothers. That's starting to show signs of growth. Um, I use some toothpicks just to spread the branches out a little bit more. Get a wider crotch angle. So, it's a quick uh, update on the orchard. Uh, sweet corn starting to come in. There's my odd tree. Out in the middle of the walk, sweet sweet cords just starting to pop up its head, and uh, uh, just barely, and the uh, squash is still yet to emerge, but they should be coming up this week sometime. So, hey, thanks for watching.